watch that suitcase, David. If it's left unattended, it'll probably be taken away and exploded by the Federal Army. Well, it looks as though it already has been. It's moments like this when I just wish we had matching luggage. We can't afford matching luggage and an expensive holiday. It wouldn't be so bad if we had a few labels on the cases. Dubrovnik. You what? Nairobi, Sri Lanka. We haven't even been there. He'll know that, won't he? When he looks at the passports, what's he going to think? I just wish I'd travel more. You've been to Malaya. That was national service, Amy. <laughs> I had a gun in my hand. Most of the time. Well, don't worry about it. Just keep your finger on that class, unless you want the whole world to catch a glimpse of those pyjamas. <laughs> I wonder if anybody speaks English. Of course somebody speaks English. Well, I haven't heard an English voice since we left the bus. There must be some English people about. They say you can always pick an Englishman out. How? By his baggy trousers. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias. No, no, no. Pasporte, senor. Pasporte, senor. Feel this gutty, please. Ah, more forms. <laughs> Got a pen? A pen? Your first time abroad, senor. No, 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 no. no. Uh, new passport. Fill the other one up. Big part of the world. Sri Lanka last year. Pardon? Sri Lanka. Never mind. Would you wait over there? Un momento. Someone will come for your luggage. No, no, that's all right. I can Please carry it. Please, wait. Everybody seems to be staring at us. What is that case? <laughs> probably think we're Basque separatists. <laughs> it's because we're English. There's probably been another run on the pound. Hey. Now look at that woman coming down the stairs over there. Typically French. She's German. She's French. Bonjour. Ah, you're English. I thought so. <laughs> Did you? My name's Linda. Linda Cochrane. David. David Pierce. This is my wife. Amy Pierce. Hello. So glad to meet somebody from England. My husband's been in the slough of despond ever since he arrived. He can't find anyone to talk to. I do hope you'll join us for a drink later. Oh, yes, yes. We, we look forward to that. Thank you. Senor. Is that your case? What? <laughs> no. No, that's not my case. David, of course that's your case. Oh, uh, that one. Yes, yes, that is my case. I'll, uh, I will take that. See you later then. Yes. Cheer up, David. We're on holiday. Cheer up. Is that all you can say after my underwear has just been strewn all over the hotel foyer? I can never show my face ever again. Well, we should just have to have all our meals in our room and go for walks at midnight. Well, it could have happened to anybody. It happened to me, Amy. And I don't know what that, that Linda must have thought. Oh, I wouldn't worry about her. Come here, David. Now, smell that. Do you know what that is? That's bougainvillea and sweet honeysuckle. And listen, do you hear that? Those are the cicadas, thousands of little grasshoppers rubbing their back legs together just for you, David. <laughs> and we've got a balcony and a view of the sea, not just any old sea, the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, it's just as we imagined it, David. Oh, you're quite right, love. So my suitcase fell open. It could have happened to anybody. I'm not going to let that spoil our holiday. That's the spirit. <laughs> Oh, dear. What's the matter? I forgot to pack your shoes. <laughs> what? You've done what? You mean I've got to get through the holiday with one pair of shoes? But they've got holes in. What would people say? They'll think I've walked here. <laughs> Just keep your feet firmly planted on the ground. Suppose it rains. Or oh, the rain in Spain stays mainly on the plane. Not with my luck. Julie Andrews. Now, David, you're tired. You've had a long journey. Things will look better in the morning. Look, why don't we have something sent up? After all, this is supposed to be our second honeymoon, and you know the effect hotel bedrooms have on me. What? Do you remember our first night? I was so nervous. Well, I don't know why. <laughs> We'd had enough rehearsals. Oh! <laughs> oh listen, listen. Somebody's playing the guitar. Oh, 
dress the flamenco. Just as I imagined. <gasps> wow. Where are you going? Now, that's Spain down there, and I'm going to get a slice. I want to see it, touch it, taste it. I'll get the sangria. You hurry up with that unpacking, Amy. No, que no, que no. ¿Por qué? Porque me llaman a mí por aquí, por ahí. No, 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 no. Hello. Ah, uh, Linda. Hello, David. Where's um your wife? Oh, unpacking. Neat little creature. <laughs> Where's your husband? Oh, Robert, he's in the bar, trying to recreate Bournemouth. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, perhaps you'd uh, care to join me in a glass of sangria? Oh, I'd love to, David. It's rather nice, isn't oh, it? Oh, I never drink anything else. Uh, when I'm in Spain. Uh, oh, sangria dos, por favor. Sangria por Oh, this music is very good. Is it? Oh, yes. Genuine flamenco. The uh, real Spain, full of passion, the scent of the flowers, orange the blossom, white wool gardens, the trailing gold. vines. Yes. Did you come here last year? Sorry? To Spain? Uh, no, no, not uh, last year. We went to Italy, Amalfi. Ah, Amalfi. You been there? Amalfi. <laughs> not recently. Well, where have you been recently? Malaya. Malaya. <laughs> Yes, it was, darling. Oh, I can see you're a real traveller. <laughs> Senora. Oh, oh, gracias. No, 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 no. I must say it's nice to meet someone who really knows the country. Robert's so insular. He hates holidays. A workaholic, I'm afraid. His doctor ordered him to rest. Well, same with me, working under pressure. I, I uh... I have been under considerable strain. Yes, you look as if you've been under considerable strain. It shows in your face. Well, that's very sensitive of you, Linda. I'm a sensitive person. Uh, <laughs> I thought so. I was thinking of uh, taking a look at the uh, gardens later on. Having I... trouble, Linda? No, no, Robert. This is David. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Thought you were German. <laughs> Welcome to Stalag Luft 7. Oh, don't you, uh, don't you like the hotel? Too many crowds. Oh, that. Still, it's not as bad as the place you went to last year. Ah, Amalfi. Was it? There, the food was appalling. Here, it is merely foul. Were you in for dinner? Uh, no, 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 we've... Uh, uh, we've... lucky man. We had the paella. I don't know how they had the nerve to serve it. I wouldn't mind, but I'm here for my health. Doctor's <laughs> orders. You must be mad. You need to be fit for a holiday like this. Well, if the food doesn't get you, the heat will. As you can see, Robert doesn't really like holidays. All I can say, um, uh, David, that's right. Grit your teeth and hang on. Only two more weeks to go. David was suggesting a walk around the garden. Oh, to, 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 to get another place. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You wouldn't. There's a rabid dog out there. It isn't rabid. It's foaming at the mouth, Linda. One minute from there, it'll be two weeks in bed and a course of injections. Isn't that the Paso Doble? <laughs> Is it? My God! This will bring the day goes out of the woodwork. <laughs> They'll be capering around like mad. I'm going back to the bar. Uh, Robert, do you, do you mind if I uh, dance with your wife? Well, I'm not going to dance with her. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Amy. We want to get a table by the pool with Promise Linda. Can't we relax for a moment, David? I haven't got over breakfast yet. I've never fought so hard for food in my life. <laughs> yeah, so of course, Linda always has her breakfast in her room. It is extra, but uh, Linda says it's worth it. Linda says it's very uh, tranquil. Breakfast on the balcony, looking out to sea, watching those little fishing boats pitting their puny strength against the waves. <laughs> Linda says that she never gets tired of looking at the sea. <laughs> you know, Linda says that if... That's five, David. Five? What? Five times you've mentioned that woman's name. That woman? Do you mean Linda? Six. <laughs> I 
should like to point out that it's not very flattering. This is supposed to be our second honeymoon. There was even light-hearted talk of carrying me across the threshold. Oh, what, with Marnie? It didn't seem to worry you much when you were doing the Paso Doble. Now, it clicked a couple of times, Amy. More than I have. <laughs> you what? How do you think I felt coming down to find that woman hanging round your neck like a vampire? <laughs> Well, I was simply being friendly. I mean, after all, we, we English should stick together. How close do you intend to stick, Dave? <laughs> now, Amy, must you be so jealous? Oh, who said I was jealous? I'm not jealous, not of a vampire. <laughs> I've never been jealous in my life. Well, that's all right, then. Right, what's this number on your cigarette packet? <laughs> what number? 127, what's that? I don't know. David, you don't write a number on a cigarette packet without any reason. Now, what's it for? Well, I can't think. Uh, one, one, two, seven. Well, I wonder what it's for. It's, it's very strange. But I'll tell you one thing, I, uh, I shan't rest until I find out. Yes. C. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Linda. <laughs> Did you, did you sleep well? Oh, don't ask, David. When I got up to my room last night, I could have died. I switched on the light, and I saw something small and dark scuttle under the bed. It wasn't that little wine waiter, was it? <laughs> I, was, I was terrified. Of course, Robert was still in the bar. Hardly slept a wink. I must look old as the hills, David. Oh, nonsense. She looked fresh as a daisy. Oh. Doesn't she, Amy? <laughs> Amy. Oh, I think we'd better get down there before those Germans take all the sun loungers. Oh, and Linda, if it happens again, don't stay there all by yourself. Give us a ring and we'll come down. Oh, that's very nice of you. Not at all. Mm. After all, we English should stick together, shouldn't we, David? Our number's 230. What's yours? Oh, 127. <laughs> go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> She owned it. it was a frozen chicken. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's Robert? Oh, he's having an early round. Early round? I don't know how he does it. I thought he'd had enough last night. Linda is referring to a round of golf. <laughs> oh, sorry. I often wish I'd taken it up. You? Yes. You always said golf was snobbish. No, no, I didn't. It's just that uh, tennis has always been my game. Tennis? Now, this is terribly exciting, David. Oh. I've been dying to play tennis ever since I arrived. I just can't find anyone to play with. Well, look no further, Linda. But you don't play tennis, Ellie. <laughs> you haven't played since your strings went. <laughs> no, but I'm, uh, I'm seriously thinking of taking it up again. Well, I don't know why. You're too old for Wimbledon. <laughs> Besides, I thought we were going to see the country. Now, we can't do that if you're going to play tennis. Now, don't worry, love, don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll see the country. Oh, of course. You must come with us. We've hired a car. Oh, that's smashing. Yes, one doesn't want to sit sunbathing all day, does one? No, I suppose one doesn't. <laughs> we visited Pompeii last year. That was terribly fascinating. Oh, yes, I, uh, I can, can imagine it was. All those bodies covered in volcanic lava. Apparently, one couple were actually making love when it happened. Oh, you mean they were actually... <laughs> they must have been lost in ecstasy, not caring if the world ended. <laughs> and when it did, they were locked together in an immortal embrace for over 2,000 years. Oh, now, Linda, that, that really is very moving. Moving's the word. They wouldn't have caught you hanging around, not with a volcano. <laughs> First puff of smoke and you'd be on with your braces. <laughs> Amy, what, what are you doing with, with that camera? I'm going to take a picture, David. I'm going to start recording everything that happens on our holiday, all the interesting people we meet. Do you mind if I take your picture, Linda? Why? Oh, of course you can, Amy. Although I don't know why everyone always wants to take my photograph. <laughs> Where would you like me? Um, why not silhouetted against the fountain? <laughs> Or better still, why not sitting on the wall? Uh, Amy, perhaps, uh, perhaps I'd better take that. No, the last time you used this camera, you took a picture of your left ear. <laughs> I'm back a bit, I think, Linda. I'm right on the edge, Amy. If I go any further back, I'll be in the water. That's right. <laughs> oh, 
that's lovely. Now let me see if I've got my light right. <laughs> What, what? Oh, Linda, what can I say? If people are going to push other people into the water, they should make quite sure those people aren't wearing expensive watches. Oh, but Linda, it was an accident. Accident? I'm not so sure. There was a wild gleam in her eye. In fact, she's been acting strangely ever since she arrived. Uh, yes, it's uh, heat stroke. Heat stroke? She's only been here a day, David. Yes, but it doesn't take very long for the heat to get through to Amy. She's very susceptible to the solar rays. It uh, makes her unpredictable. She she be all right, though, once, once I get her a hat. If I get her a sombrero, then perhaps we'll all be safe. She's not jealous, is she? Jealous? Oh, good heavens, no. What, what's she got to be jealous about? Oh, hello, Robert. Uh, just got wet and just uh, drying off. Do you know how much this cost? No. 600 pesetas. That's what that cost in the bar. I could have had three for that in Bournemouth. <laughs> I'd watch that crowd down there if I were you, Peter. It's David. Is he what? Uh, <laughs> this is David. Oh. Even then I had a job to get served. The place was full of Germans. Well, of course, they got a prodigious thirst, the Germans. All that exercise, all that bouncing up and down on the beach every morning. Strength through joy. I told one of them. I said, hands... The only thing I am going to exercise on this holiday is the old elbow. Of course, you didn't understand a word I was saying. <laughs> You're wet. Yes, I've been in the water, Robert. Yes, well, I'd better get back and check on uh, Amy's heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion? What did I tell you? If the food doesn't get you, the heat will. Well, I'll see you in the bar later, Peter. David. Bring him along as well. <laughs> we English have got to stick together. Robert. Hello, Mary. Amy, Linda, I really must apologise. I didn't mean to bump into you. When you came out of that fountain looking like a drowned rat, I felt so ashamed. <laughs> a drowned rat? David is so angry and I don't want to do anything to set him back. Well, has there been something wrong? Uh, he's not been well, I'm afraid. <laughs> he looks perfectly fit to me. Oh, you should see him back in England in November when he's walking with a stick. <laughs> what? Yes, that's why we came here, because of the arthritis. Arthritis? In the knee and the back. But the sun does him an awful lot of good. Really hoping we might have a trouble-free winter this year. It'll be so good for the children. David adores the children. He's a real family man. He likes nothing better than playing with the children. Of course, he hasn't been able to do much of that lately, not with the arthritis. He just totters down the garden and watches them and they help him out into the sun when it's a fine day. <laughs> I didn't realise there'd been anything wrong. Well, appearances can be so deceptive, can't they? Actually, before we decided to come here, we were thinking of going to Lourdes. <laughs> Lourdes? Yes. So, you see, the, uh, the idea of tennis is really out of the question, isn't it? Oh, I thought that meal was superb. Did you enjoy it, David? Oh, yes. What about you, love? Robert. Yeah. I'll let you know later. Hasn't hit the vital parts yet. What were those rubbery bits? Squid. Good Lord. Mm, just smell that honeysuckle. Oh, listen to the guitar. It's so romantic. It's so exotic here, isn't it, David? Oh, yes, very. I saw our milkman this morning. <laughs> What, here? Yes, I saw him bobbing up and down in the water, just his head. Are you sure? Well, he hadn't got his milk float, but I recognised him. <laughs> we waved to each other. Well, I shouldn't think our milkman could afford this hotel, Amy. Neither can we. <laughs> <laughs> but surely Malaya must have been much more expensive, Amy. Malaya? Of course, David was telling me about your holiday in Malaya. That must have cost a great deal. Oh, no. David did it rather cheaply, as a matter of fact. Really? I must say, I think you were plucky to go with your susceptibility to the heat. What? Yes. You ought to watch that, Amy. It took me a week before I could manage to walk to the post office. Oh, but this is nothing after Malaya. The heat, the smells, the sweat. It sounds dreadful. Yes, it was. 
but I think it brought us closer together. And there were those incredible sunsets. Do you remember those nights under the mosquito netting, darling? Oh, nothing could deter us. Not even the threat of malaria. Do any um, shooting? Did he do any shooting? You never had a rifle out of your hand, did you, David? Well, that's remarkable, David, considering your disability. Disability? The arthritis. Amy was telling me about the stick. What stick? Why, is that the time? Doesn't it fly when you're having fun? Amy? Hey. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Mm, funny chap. Do you know he's got a hole in his shoe? <laughs> How could you have left me like that? Leaving me to climb the stairs unassisted. <laughs> and I haven't even got my walking frame with me. Do you like my hat? No. Now, what was the idea making out that I was some kind of decrepit old invalid? And what about Malaya? Why do you have to keep trying to impress her, David? She'll make a fool of you. Aren't you forgetting something? I've been made a fool of already. You know what brought us here. My redundancy money. But that's nothing to be ashamed of, David. There are three million unemployed. That doesn't mean that I have to be one of them. I worked for 20 years with that firm on a low salary because it was a safe job with prospects. <laughs> prospects? I worked hard. I saved. I never went abroad. The kids went abroad. Oh, yes. They went to Italy, Germany, France. And I find them in their bedrooms smoking gulwars and talking about Montmartre. I couldn't even afford a day trip to Boulogne. Oh, now, now, I'm going to tell you something now. Yesterday, when we flew over the bay into Malaga, and I looked down, and I saw the blue Mediterranean and those white-walled houses, I could have cried. Oh, David, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you felt like that. I just thought you were trying to impress her. Oh, what if I was? Getting to know an attractive woman is about the only adventure that's left to me. Well... Get to know me. I know you. Where are you going? I'm going to get drunk. David. Yes? David, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't have said those things about your knee. It's a lovely knee. <laughs> Probably last you for years yet. I just wanted us to be together, that's all. And I won't be jealous ever again, I promise. Here's to us, David. Cheers. Whose is this glass? You are. I know you were going to get drunk, but you don't need two glasses, oh, well, David. It, it was... David, have you got my drink? Oh. Linda, is this yours? Oh, that's all right. I'll get another from the bar. What were you two doing out here? It was just very warm in there. We just, just wanted to cool off. What a good idea. <laughs> Why don't you do that, David? <laughs> Thank you.